All right, welcome everybody to another edition of the Etnire video series. In this series, we're going to talk about calibration of the radar for 2009 or newer units, which are BT-1 controls. So what we need to do first prior to calibrating the radar and making some physical checks is we need to measure out a 300 foot course to be able to finalize the calibration. Now remember that calibrating the radar is very important. You should do that every year or any time you think that your distributor is not shooting the correct rate. Because the radar does two things. It not only counts the feet that we are traveling in feet per minute, but it also counts the distance that we travel. Both of those inputs are fed to the computer to calculate the correct shot rate. So at this point what we need to do is do some checks. So when you want to make your initial checks on your radar, the first thing to do is find the radar in the truck. It could be mounted on the left hand side or the right hand side. The position of the radar could be pointing forward or reverse. None of that matters. All we need to do is determine the correct angle of the radar, which is roughly 35 degrees. So the first thing you do is look at the lens. Make sure that this lens is clean, no chips or cracks in it. If it does get dirty, you can use some diesel fuel to clean it off or some other type of cleaners, but try to stay away from citrus cleaners because this lens is plastic and sometimes citrus cleaners will actually warp the plastic and you'll get a false reading. The lens is replaceable, so if it does get damaged or too dirty to clean, you can remove a few Phillips screws from the face of this lens and purchase a new lens to put on. The big thing to do by looking at this is to make sure that the mounting bolts on the plate are tight. This screw up here is an adjustment screw, so if we need to relocate the angle of that, we can loosen the bolts, readjust the plate, and tighten it back down to get our 35 degrees. That gives us our starting point. The other thing in maintenance of the radar is always remember that the radar is watertight, but not waterproof. So try to stay away with the pressure washer off of this because we have a gasket where the wires go in, we have a seam in the case, so you can force water in here which will damage your radar. But once we secure that we are at 35 degrees, everything is tight, then we can go to the cab and do the actual calibration of the radar. So now that we've done all our physical checks on our radar, it's time to actually run our 300 foot course that we've pre-measured. But we have to get into the computer setup screens in order to do that. So first you make sure your memory button is in your 6 to 10 position. And then we're going to hold the first and the last memory button in while we turn the power on. And we continue to hold those until we see the screen that comes up that says units in English and the bar that you have. At this point, we'll use the select button, or switch, to toggle over until we get to the calibrate radar, or calibrate ground speed screen. So we'll just keep toggling over here. We'll go through all these screens that will be explained in other videos. And we'll get to the ground speed calibration. It says start at 300 feet and the word begin. At this point, we want to start our truck rolling and we want to make sure that at the beginning of our first 300 foot, we simply push the start button. The word begin will change to end. Now we'll drive our 300 feet to our next mark that we've predetermined. And at that point, we'll hit the start button again. End will change to begin. At that point, we have now calibrated our radar within our 300 foot course. So simply to end it, select over one more screen to be safe shut your power off and when you cycle the power back on the computer has realized that we have driven the 300 feet and now your radar is calibrated. So now if you want to check your calibration of your radar without actually calibrating or after you've calibrated to make sure that it's at the 300 feet it simply go to the rear control box turn the power on Make sure we're in the auto position and circulate in tank position on the keypad. Then we can simply come up and shut all of our bar switches off so that our bar won't open and we won't make a mess out there. Then we go to our 300 foot course. We can select over to where our counters are and make sure those are cleared. So to clear those, wherever the black box is at, if you hit the value down, it will clear them. And you can clear the gallons too if you'd like. But at this point, 
All we're going to do is drive our 300 foot course. We're going to turn our master spray on at the beginning of our course. And when we get to our 300 foot mark, we're going to shut that off. And at that point, this should show 300 feet. And that would tell us that our radar is calibrated for our 300 foot mark. So that is how you double check your radar calibration. As with any piece of equipment, please follow all the safety guidelines in the operations manual and wear the proper personal protection equipment required by your company or the state. We all want to return home safe every night, so be safe out there. You can contact your local dealer or the Etnire factory to talk to a professional service or parts representative at the information provided on the screen. Thank you and have a good day.